Okay, um, today I'm gonna tell you guys how to make a plane, just like this one. Alright, let's get on with it. I'm just gonna go over here, and let's start building. So once you're all set up, first you need to choose what block you need. So I like going with wood because it's it's nice and just light and it's doesn't look too bad. So for this one we're gonna be doing an even one. So we're gonna want it to be gonna start off with just two wide. And then we'll add some on the side just to make it look a little bit better. So that just so just so the seat isn't hanging up. You could potentially make this a lot smaller, but it wouldn't look as good. So, yeah, now I'm just building up the base of it. And so if you're wondering how I'm switching through my hotbars like this, you just press F1, F2, and F3. I like having pipes in F3, and F2, just random stuff, and F1, just blocks. So now let's get... Let's get a two engines, and you need these to be, or you don't need them to be gas and electric, but it doesn't work as well without them being gas and electric, so get one gas and one electric engine, and you should be good. That's the hard part, just getting them to fit on there somehow. And so we gotta put some bearings on the side like this and extend this three or four blocks with the big with the big um, wing panels and so this is part of the this is part of the wings mod I'll have it linked in the description and we don't want them too long so I'm gonna take some off over here and I'm gonna go to mod parts and I'm gonna take this big airfoil connector just so you can have propellers and it looks a little bit nicer than just having blocks there you don't really need these, but I think they're a little bit better for this. And so for these ones right here, you have these ones on the ends connected to the gas engines. And these ones on the wings, controlling the whole wings up to the electric engines. Make both of the arrows going backwards. Like this, this should be fine. And then connect this seat up to the electric engine. And that should be good for now. Now, let's get it back going. So you don't have to do all this exactly, but just roughly build it back a little bit longer. And then build a little bit of a T-shape, upside down T-shape. But for this part, you're gonna need... Okay, I did this slightly wrong, actually. Okay, so what you actually need to do... Yeah, since it's an odd number, or since it's an even number, we're gonna have to put this out by a little bit on each side. And we gotta make sure these are the same. I think this is a little too long. No, I think this should be good. Yep. Alright. So now, all we need to do is get a bearing here. Here, just roughly that. And then, so these, these fins are gonna be for steering. And so, for that, you connect them both up to the seat. And once connected up to the seat, that means it's for steering, so whenever you press A or D, it'll steer it. And on the end, add one or two of these wing pieces, the big wing, same ones for before. I think it just adds a little extra stability. And this should be about it. Okay, besides the, we gotta end, we gotta add the, end, the propellers and the landing gear. Let's go with the, pro the propellers first. And so for this, you're gonna need either of these, you either need these or these. So I'm gonna go with these ones just because they're more simple. Clockwise and counterclockwise. So it doesn't matter which side you place them on. It's gotta place, gotta make sure they're different. If they're both counterclockwise or both clockwise, it will not work as good. It'll kind of work, but it'll be really bad. So I recommend just doing that. So now, now let's add the landing gear. So I'm just gonna add this out a little bit. You don't have to do that, but it's nice. So now, 
what I'm gonna do for this, I'm gonna have gonna have some pipes going down on either side. You could just make that as uh, blocks, but pipes look a little bit nicer. So let's do this on both sides. I'm just making little sticks for the landing gear to go out. And I recommend not having the wheels on a powered bearing. It, they work just as good when they're just rolling because you don't need them to take off because the engines are enough to get you started. So then you gotta grab, gotta grab a controller and connect it, connect it to these two, and gotta rotate that. Let's put this back on the lift so the wheels are set again. So now the engines are like that, the motors. So now, now to make sure they're both spinning the same way. So now let's set these. Well, first let's get some buttons down. So we're gonna need two buttons for this. So let's put some of this stuff away. Now let's get some switches. Switches, I meant. All right, so now let's hook up one to the gas engine. That's hooked up to those. And then hook both up to the seat. So this, and so number two, will go over to that. You could make this number one and this number two, but we're just, we're just doing this way. So then, now, nothing will happen if we press number two. But that's gonna happen because it's not, nothing's happening. So now we gotta make this. Whenever this, if we set it to here, it'll automatically do that, but we don't want that. We want it to go 90 degrees whenever we press the button. Or no, let's set it to 45 degrees because then it'll hit the, it'll hit the wood. So now if we press number two, look at that. I'm gonna just speed this up. If you like it slow, you can do that, but I'm gonna speed this up. So now. Whenever I press 2, the landing gear will go down. Perfect. Now, if you press A and D, it should go like that too. And if you press W and S, the wings should go up and down like that. That's good. And you'll probably notice it won't do anything. That's because it's not high enough, so we just test it out. And so now it's going pretty fast, but that's... And it's going like that, because it needs to be properly rotated. Since they're both clockwise and counterclockwise, it go it's spinning around in circles. So we gotta rotate that. Now, if I did this correctly, perfect. Okay. And so when you're taking off, you wanna do that. Just like angle them up, not down. If you angle them downwards, then you just start going down. If you angle them up, you can go up. You press two. You can make the landing gear going down. You don't need the landing gear, by the way, but it's nice to be. It makes it easier to take off and land especially mostly just take off so now it's gliding across it's working pretty good That's all you need to make a working plane and scram mechanic. Thanks for watching.